Hi everyone, I'm John Wook Kim. Uh, I will present about music information retrieval in Julia. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of me. Uh, I'm a second year PhD student in New York University and previously I worked at NCSoft a gaming company in Korea and I made a online game server platform for serving millions of users focusing on focusing on high availability and fault tolerance in Java and C++. And I also worked at Kakao, which is an internet company, and I developed a recommender system using frameworks like Apache, Hadoop, and Spark, so in Java and Scala. I think those static languages made me favoring Julia over any other dynamic languages. So what is music information retrieval? Uh, it is a study about retrieving information from music, obviously. Uh, at the corpus level, uh, the problems are music recommendation and audio fingerprinting. And if the output of your problem is a function of track, then the examples are genre classification and cover song identification. And a lot of interesting applications are on the time varying signals like chord recognition, onset detection, fundamental frequency estimation, and like ultimately automatic transcription. And by the way, the conference in this topic is happening in August in New York City and New York University is organizing it. So anyone interested is welcome. So I have to say the usual testimony that Julia is so awesome and it beats Python and MATLAB. <laughs> so a lot of usual pipeline is the feature extraction and that is done in Python and MATLAB historically and majority of the community in music information retrieval is still using it. But I wanted to escape from that land because I, there, there are non-existent type system and there are ways to improve that by making an extension or Cython number like hybrid approaches but it always adds the cognitive cost of working with that, and that cognitive cost should, be, should have gone to the actual problem itself, and all, also the Python 2 3 discrepancy. Uh, I'm a still a newbie in this community and language. I first came across Julia when it was 0.2, but I really started working with it, doing coursework homework last year, and I recently published my first Julia package for reading and writing MP3 files. So this talk will be about musicprocessing.jl, which is a music and audio analytics library. It is available there. It's not yet merged to metadata because it's not mature enough, I think. It is using ADMs from Julia Audio and Julia DSP. Uh, if some member of that group is here, I want to thank you. And it is inspired by Librosa, which is made by Brian McPhee, who is in NIU right now. And it is very awesome and comprehensive library for music informatics, but unfortunately, it's written in Python. So this is an example of reading MP3 file. And the return value of this function is the sample buff structure in Julia Audio mediums, but I wrote a custom write mime function or display in Julia 0.5 to make a waveform and the HTML5 audio tag. And this is what we usually see in the console. So it depends on the mime type that the current display supports. We can make the audio mono. Not so much difference. And we can crop the audio using the SI quantity. This is a feature of sample buff, sample signals package. And we can resample the audio to lower sampling rate like this. There's still not much difference because human perception of audio is not very well above 10,000 hertz. And we can speed up the audio using phase vocoder. And using the same technique, we can pitch shift the audio. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the spectrogram of the audio. So it, this is one of the time frequency representation of it. And this is another time frequency representation, which is male spectrum. It is kind of distorted spectrogram that is thought to be representing according to human perception of audio. And MFCC is a very widely used audio feature that is just a discrete cosine transform of the male spectrogram. I ran a small benchmark comparing the performance of Julia and Librosa. And as you can see, it's a lot faster in reading MP3 files and speeding up the audio or short time, short time Fourier transform. Uh, in all of these cases, they're just repeatedly calling the C library. So I guess this difference is showing that Julia's capability of effectively calling native libraries. So this library is still in very early stage. So I would like to add these features in Libros and in many other audio processing libraries in the future, and as well as performing performance tuning and tests. And these are my takeaways from the experience of making a Julia library. So I really enjoyed embracing the type system multiple dispatch. Uh, I, I like that. I like the fact that the partially specified type parameters means it, it is a super types of fully specified type. And that makes writing uh, generic functions very concise and easy. And another example is write mime. In this case, IO and mime and X are all, I can use the inheritance or subtyping in both all of these three parameters. So I could use IO as a file to output the MP3 file or IO to the base64 encode stream to display on the iJulia. And some of the people that I encountered are methlessis <coughs> or other functional structures can be slower than plain loops. And I originally tried to use plus.jl, uh, but its heat map is somehow slow in iJulia, so I went back to PyPlot. And discovering that was helpful by at time and at profile macros. So when I'm processing, when I'm processing on a five second audio and it's allocating 100 megabytes, then I'm doing wrong. So that's about it. Thank you very much. I'm not, I'm not, so can I repeat your question? Yeah, so, please do. so the question about, the question was about audio fingerprinting and identification and it performs very pro poorly for cover songs that is not the original audio track. Uh, that's, I think the answer is not very Julia specific. Uh, usually apps like Shazam is done by fingerprinting high frequency peaks in the spectrogram and that's usually not replicated in live performances or cover songs. So it's more of a research question than in a language detail. I had a comment and a question. Yep. So my comment is that map slices should be much faster on 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good. Uh, the question was about write mime. So did you have any feedback about the write mime API? I feel like it works pretty well, but you seem you probably have good reason to to know whether there's like corner cases that are broken or not. I didn't have any bad experience about that. That's perfect. That's a good <laughs> <answer>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steve Jobs.
Johnson will be pleased. <laughs> um, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much.